this story was from me a long time ago. I was a young elf from the clan of Atiru Khan. My father was the elfin prince that later become of your the first. I was always told by my mother not to play in the forest of the human Isa. The human Isa was a clan of creatures living behind the shadows. The only creatures were cedars have to be afraid for. The one also known as the Nairin or the creatures from the earth. The creatures that live under the earth. Sorry, I correct. They're being made from the purest evil. Even more evil than the even more evil than the Dunyan. The Dunyan he takes only souls because he needs them. But this creature do it because they like it to bring suffering and horror on other living beings. As the young naive elf that I was, I go with my friends on one evening walking on the ground in the forest of the human arm because I was too much of one adventurer to don't watch this part out I walk and walk first it Looks like that there'd be nothing so much scary to see. It'd be an urban legend later. The forest was a little bit darker than the rest of the forest, and the trees a little bit more exhausted. And the sky that looked nearly the same, maybe a little bit less stars because I was in the evening. The grass was the same, just like anything actually, green and grassy. Far in the distance, I heard indeed some voices, some noises from things. Can be this monsters or not? I've also heard that there are factories of torment and abuse. Creatures. They're used for crazy signs or something like that. Even if it exists, it mean not so worst, so I think. I walk and walk. 
from or in the forest with my friends excellent and Nariki some different friends the next the last story Nariki looked behind him if he see something did he maybe don't see something maybe it is an illusion we walk further and further the forest looking for the human art creature Where the screams of one bird's the one crow and some eye all we walk further in the forest and look around us and see there in the distance something silhouette of something glitch away before I can put my eye on it. I ask one of my friends will you see something? Naragu see in the distance some you see in hat with horns something with a tail it can be can be in top of north and down north they live in in the ruins not the forests let we ex let we export this kind of area Nay, well, let me go back. Say, never you are. Say not you. Say not you are. Why? Become pretty interesting. So I say. Walk and walk. We walk. Slightly in. Be careful that we make not too much noises. Because if we do, maybe we bring our the attention on us. And there is also some spell that I have learned from the great wizard Kakari's hero. Kakari's hero, the great. It will make less noises than you can do it possible. To make it to eliminate. After some minutes, we come on one great plate. A very big open space. In the middle of the forest, the different, the strange thing about this place is that even if in an open space, it is even so dark and without stars as the rest of the forest, the crash on this planet being dark. If somebody has burned, so I think my friends, don't go, uh, don't step up it, don't step up the grass, up the black grass. Maybe it is a trick of the human art. I've stories of the human art tricking 
living beings in another space, even some elves or fairies. On the other side of this open space in the forest, there was one building, one very large building, not so much high, but very long, with some low, with some spaces, and all that kind of things. with locks and windows, not a lot. After one to five meters, there was another window, so I can see from this distance. You walk with the sight of the force so that we don't stand of the black trash. And look to what this been actually. This very weird story, maybe. And a very strange evening. We walk and walk slowly by slowly to the other space. Now we see that there have been some creatures inside this building. Different creatures. Can it be some of the workplaces of the Nebri of the Uminor? exactly the human one. It's not always so. There's not something more than legends and stories about this. The only thing that we don't for sure from that time is that they be scary. We come closer and closer to the building. We hear some screams as well. From some birds. So, let's... I'm looking at the build from one of the windows. We use one camouflage magic so that we become transparent and you only can see us if you look directly to us a little bit and we see a whole building full with cages with birds inside Turkeys. So it looks like it. Up, up and up. Three great rides of, of chickens of, and turkeys. Fat up. Some of the feathers being broken. Put me put out, out stretch, and in comfort. We walk. We look to a foreign door. Foreign door. Maybe we can free this animals. I guess safe. Or we were also something others. 
I'm very disturbing. Smart. His voice. Can we kill this once now? Can we stop it? Can we eat it now? When begins the other day? We have hunger. Mm. You walk slowly to the end of it. We part in tour. You know that we have to be very, very. Wait on our fingers. Don't make not too much noises. Be very careful. We break in. I remember some spell to open the uh, door. There were some very big lock on this. I use the spell next year and the door becomes open. I was sure that some of these voices was the voice of the humanoid. This voice was so gross and nightmarish. The things that he say about these creatures make me cringe. Now we're young. My other friend, he was, he was away or he, he had not the courage. He was afraid for the black crash. Oh, I was already back to home. Let's put close and fast as much cages open as we can. But first, let me do a spell on the chickens and the turkeys so that they don't make noises and can that the human others know that the turkey is sometimes it's free good day Elvia Onision and three Girotiva have killed it the because of the chickens being put close, just like the mouse of the other ones. They don't can open them anymore, so they don't can make voices, noises. I open all the cages. We take all the animals away, all the turkeys. I turned them for this moment in very small creatures with the size of one finger so that I can put them in my jacket and that we don't have to walk many times for later to let them again grow to their natural size. So genetic modified or in some way. They've been bigger than other in usually in the world. There's something that I see now. I heard the, the voice again. Let me, let me check 
Turkish again. I like it. Look, if I've been fat enough to eat with our chick with our periods on our toast. Yes, let's eat it, Corkas. We have, we know that we have to be fast away from this. Most, we have the, most of the chick is in the Turkish already with us. Was close to the end of it, the door. When the door on the other side spring open, and one disgusting beast come out. We run the little doors. I see the face of a bloody monster, horns. Red as blood, claws, yellow, eyes darker than the most darkest, even with no pimples. There are no noses, only two holes. Like a snake, one sick with, uh, with more hair, and only on this place there of hair. Strange enough, one one sharp tail, just like one um, tail of some. Scorpion and feet built like a combination of a hoof and one hand, long sharp nails. I smell like death, combination of death, and a combination of burned ash. I smell also sour and toxic. We run and run, Poirot. We run and run so fast that we can through the forest. Hoping that these creatures don't can smell so well as elves. So well as the cedar. The first we heard on in our kill. become well very we've been away from the camp how less and less prominent to the point that we don't see us anymore that we don't can hear them you know that we have to but we have escaped these creatures but we have luck I can remember this face now today sometimes as well. When I was in sleep, these creatures sometimes hunt me. What if we be a little bit slower? Or if when if there have this I can so good smell if we can too. If or if we have last luck and we can walk in their way and they get us, we 
want his crutches then also to turn us in foot. Also see, also see, also see in the camp. Some bones of creatures far bigger and far more stand right back up as us, just like the, st the structure of the skeleton that we have. We don't talk, I have told it before, and only. My friends know that. Uh, they have to see it as well. I think we've been very lucky this evening. But there have been not so festivals. That might be. And most likely, if we have to believe the stories, they are completely immune for magic. So we don't can use any spell on them. But our bodies are immune with the power and turn them in energy. So I hope you like the story. I also hope that you have learned something like this. Because I have heard that humans today also have shown festival that being called a Thanksgiving, where they do the same rituals as the human ours, setting other animals up and eat it. Cut one whole in one big turkey and put there a lot of stuff in and eat them in some crazy ritual. And humiliate and disempower one of the most beautiful animals according to one of Americas. Most biggest things for me. So what I say. It is not your right, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom. That you can harm them, save them and rape them. Does not what rights are about. That's injustice. Mm. I will stop with this now. It is not cute. This has to stop. Go vegan. There is no counter argument against this. Make a plea and move forward. Happy Halloween.